Hello everyone, it's Anna Page. Welcome back to Rooted Sanctuary, where we tap into what is needed by the collective. Uh, this is a daily reading for the collective for September 28th, and we will root ourselves first in a grounding breath and just to center ourselves to be able to receive the messages that come out. So let's breathe in through heart space, breathe in. Hold it for as long as you can. And when you're ready, breathe it out and just ground yourself and allow all of that breath to go through your feet and down into the earth. Let's begin. So I was called to use the Messenger Oracle deck. Okay. Thank you, let me right away. We'll do three cards. We have one, all right. Please provide the messages for the collective for September 28th. Please provide the messages that are needed for September 28th, thank you. And one more please. For the collective for September 28th. All right, Spirit, please provide a card for a okay. All right, so have to have my glasses. So the first one is heed the messengers. Okay. Heed the messengers. It is easy to ignore the messengers and the signs they show you, especially when you when they bring a message you do not wish to hear. But now is not the time to ignore the messengers. Do not let your fear of change or discomfort silence their voices. It is time for you to stop procrastinating, to see and to hear the truth and do what is necessary. Heed the messenger for the wisdom they offer is born of your own intuition and need. So heed the messenger. So you may have been holding back on a project or on um, something that you know you need to take care of. Um, I totally get it. We sometimes get involved in all kinds of different things and we stop uh, listening to what the right uh, steps are to move forward in one or multiple projects. Or maybe it's that you just kind of need to narrow it down to uh, one, two or three of those projects because you may be wearing yourself out. That's what I'm hearing is that many of you could be completely worn out because you're trying to do it all. You're trying to do everything and you're not truly listening to spirit and the messengers that are out there for you and your own intuition, which is always right, your intuition, and your gut are the warning system is the built in warning system to let you know something is either um, heading in the right direction or you need to make the change. So really tap into what your solar plexus is telling you, um, that gut feeling. And yeah, I keep hearing that it's time to simplify. It's time to simplify. Okay, thank you. Know you belong. has a kind of a feline as you can probably hear. I don't know why he's meowing. He's already eaten, but I'm a, a cat mom <laughs> and a dog mom. Um, so know you belong. A 19. Okay, here we go. You have place, you have purpose, you are special. Do not change who you are just so others might accept you. 
do not dishonor your truths by allowing someone else to tell you who you must be. Change made, change made just so you fit the expectations or social criteria of a clique or group does not honor you. You do not need to change in order to belong. You are a blessed child of Gaia and great spirit and belong simply because you are. Well, that makes sense with the simplify. Listen to those messages. Know that you absolutely 150% and even more, infinitely, you belong. You were brought here for a reason. And this breaking down, um, you know, break, breaking it down and simplifying your life a little bit and honoring, honoring that you belong in those just maybe few things so you can really concentrate on it is what I'm getting. Because sometimes we can fragment ourselves so much that we lose ourselves. And there's some of you out there that are in the midst of these projects that are not serving your highest and greatest good. They're just not. And you just have to be honest with yourself. Okay. <laughs> Man, it is all about hearing and seeing the signs, right? Hearing the messages, knowing that you belong. And the last one is see the signs. I love this card. I just love it. See the signs. You know, and in all honesty, it's like, well, why do I need to read it? I mean, it, that's just as... <laughs> just right there for you, see the signs, because they're there, just like the messengers are going to be there. Um, so on the 28th, on this day, and I feel like even though this reading is for the 28th, I feel like this is something that needs you need to navigate um, over the next, I'm hearing three to five days, you know, sometimes these readings, even though they're daily, it's something to, it's like planting a seed of an overall energetic for, um, for your future. So um, I'm hearing three to five days. You really need to spend time with us. Um, so here we go. See the signs. We are often sent small signs in the form of synchronicities or coincidences. Be watchful. Do not overlook them in the everyday rush of life. Words, numbers, and symbols that repeat. Animals and birds that appear on your path. People who come in and out of your life at odd or similar moments. And those flashes of knowing when uh, you believe something will happen with every fiber of your being. These are all things you are meant to see and hear messages from Gaia and Great Spirit sent to aid your journey. Okay. Okay, so intuitively I'm hearing, uh, you know, listen to the messengers and simplify because the signs will magnify. I mean, you know, think about um, when you're changing frequencies on a radio and you're changing stations, like in between there may be static and it's like and all this like muffled stuff. I feel like there's a lot of things that are going on for you um, today, especially, and it's really opening yourself up. And when you start to listen, know that you belong you're gonna have a clear direction of where you need to go. Okay, hopefully that makes sense to everyone. I'm gonna pull one more. Yes, okay, thank you. I'm told to draw one more card. One more clarifying card to help the collective on September 28th. Begin heeding the messengers, knowing and truly tapping into the fact that you belong. 
There are no coincidences. And we see the signs. So one more card, please, Spirit. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to let it go. Any of the perceptions that you have that have been planted there by other people, because when people have perceptions of you, it's all their stuff. Okay, so you've got to let that go. You've, you've got to let it go, surrender, and that, and really listen. Like these, these two go hand in hand. You need to get out of your head and into your heart space is what I'm being told. Let go. You've got to let it go because the signs are all there for you. It's just a matter of your, if you're going to open up your heart space. So that is the collective message for September 28th. Uh, if this resonated with you, it may resonate with some of you. It may not. It's a collective reading. I would love to hear your thoughts. So please, uh, you know, put a comment and let me know how you're doing. And then also, if you would like um, to learn more about me and would like to set up a personal reading, uh, look, check the description box and there's a link there. And most importantly, just know that Rooted Sanctuary is a safe place and a soft place for you to land for messages that come through. And so please like and subscribe. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel so you get notifications about the next video. And you know, and every once in a while, I know you can't really see him right, right now, but you might see a cute dog if you're a dog person, or you might hear a cat, because there's, you know, who knows? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Well, I am on a page, and thank you so much for being here. It is always a pleasure, and if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. And we always end with, you are love, and you are loved. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.